so today for this video we are going to talk about a subject is very important you have in Krav Maga always the attacker or defender but I think it should be more than this not all the attacker are the same and not all the defender are the same what we are going to see in this video is how to read your opponent behavior let's see that You will see how it's important before I start the action to read my opponent behavior. As you can see, my opponent is threatening me with a knife. So pay attention to his forehand. I can see his forehand is very tense. I already know that when I will start my action, which is striking his arm, okay, we explained on the previous video. I invite you to check it after this video. We saw that uh, grabbing the arm immediately could be complicated when we're under pressure. So we prefer to strike the forearm and then to catch it. My problem would be that if I strike, he, his forearm is very tense, his move will be very sharp, okay? I will, even I push it very strong, his forearm are going to make like 10 or 20 centimeters move. But if he's really relaxed and then I can read this on his forearm muscles, okay? He's very relaxed, maybe he take drugs before he can. So I know that when I will strike his forearm, his forearm is going to move away very far and he will come back maybe with a slash attack with the knife. And according to those two situations, I will adapt my defense. If the forearm is very tense, I will make strike and immediately catch his forearm. If his forearm is very relaxed, no tense, muscles are completely uh, released, I will come back with my both hands to stop his second attack. Because he went so far, he won't go home. He will come back with a slash attack and then I will stop him. We saw with this concrete example how it's important to read your opponent behavior by what happened in his eyes, what happened with his body, his muscles, you can learn a lot of things. Don't start immediately the action. Of course, if it's a surprise attack, you will react as we saw on the previous video uh, that sometimes we cannot use the real Krav Maga uh, techniques, but we go more on the instinctive move. I invite you to check this video. When I strike his arm, and his, his arm is moving away very far. I know I will have to come with my both hands to stop the second attack because it will be the second attack. And if not, anyway, I continue. If he is very tense on his muscle, that's me. He will make a short move and immediately I will have to control his arm. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a blue thumbs. See you soon next week, 9 p.m. Israeli time and subscribe.